So we have a situation, folks. Picture this, a K-pop artist, beloved by fans, minding her own business when suddenly, bam, a fan decides they're in a real life action movie because apparently normal interactions are Sue last season. I mean, who needs personal space when you can go for the full contact approach? What's next, a wrestling match in the middle of a concert? Someone passed the popcorn. And then we have our hero, this mysterious witness. Yes, the unsung savior who stepped in to defend Jesse. Imagine the scene. The witness must have been thinking, not on my watch, while everyone else was probably just capturing this every dimension hyperactive pent up fan energy explosion on their phones. Honestly, what a modern day Shakespearean moment, or maybe just a really bad game of K-pop survivor. But really, what goes through some people's minds? Do they think Jesse is a rubber ball, basically impenetrable, only to bounce back after such an unexpected fan assault? Newsflash, she's a person, not a bouncy castle at a kid's party. Maybe some people skip the how to respect boundaries class. And I seriously wanna know how these fans' brains work. Are they programmed to tackle like it's an Olympic sport? To the fans who think taking it to the extreme is an expression of love, here's a tip. Love is watching from the audience, cheering your heart out, not tackling your idol like they're the last slice of pizza at a party. Seriously, folks, let's leave the wrestling moves to the pros. Your favorite artist isn't a prize to be won, so please keep your high energy antics on social media and out of their personal space. And Jessie, the queen herself, she's iconic. She deserves a medal for keeping her cool. Imagine being a performer and dealing with fans who don't understand the concept of personal boundaries. Not only could she have thrown a diss track at the fan, but she probably could have also started a TikTok challenge called How to Avoid Fan Tackle 101. I'd subscribe to that channel wholeheartedly. New dance move idea, avoid the fan tackle while strutting on stage. The witness's support speaks volumes. We need more people like them, chief defenders of personal space. Forget capes and tights. This witness could have easily walked away from that situation like a dramatic hero in an action movie. Throw in a slow motion exit and we've got ourselves a blockbuster moment. Kudos to them for reminding us that not every fan attempts to pin an artist into submission, but oh boy, the ones who do definitely need a good talking to. Now, let's wrap this up with a thought. What do you think? Are we losing the concept of personal boundaries to the thunderous enthusiasm of fandom? Should there be a rule book on how to be a respectful fan? Or are we destined for a future where concerts resemble wrestling matches? What say you? Ready to weigh in on the importance of not turning a musical experience into a full contact sport? Like and subscribe, please.